Hi, I'm Conrad Stoll and welcome to this week's Ask a Developer. Our first question this week comes from Jen. Jen wants to know if dynamic type is a difficult feature for developers to implement on iOS 7. That's a great question, Jen. Dynamic type is a new feature in iOS 7 that allows users to change the size of text that is shown in all their apps. This involves some more work from developers because they need to make sure that their layouts will all respond accordingly when the size of text changes. Using some of the newer libraries like Auto Layout and TextKit will make this easier to do. All of the new changes to topography in iOS 7 really mean that there's a lot more flexibility for developers and designers. But with the increased flexibility, there's still more work that you have to do to make the best use of these features. Our next question comes from Window, and he would like to know where to start for developing games for Android or iOS. I think one of the first questions you should ask is which platform or platforms you want to develop a game for. If you want your game to run on both Android and iOS, then I would suggest checking out some of the frameworks like Cocos 2D or Unity that take care of a lot of the heavy lifting to make your game run on multiple platforms. If you're interested in only targeting iOS, then I would recommend checking out SpriteKit, which is a new framework released in iOS 7 that makes it really easy to develop iOS games. That's it for this Ask a Developer. If you have more iOS questions, then tweet them to hashtag askadev.